Hey everybody, it's Christopher Travels. How you doing? Well, I need your advice um, because I'm going to be going out on the road for quite some time this time and I need to know exactly, not exactly, but I just need advice on what is really too much to bring with you while you're trying to minimize the weight, like in your car and stuff like that. So most of the stuff I'm going to show you, it would go in my car. So I leave Frankie to hold like, you know, my clothes and the kitchen stuff and you know, that type of stuff. But the stuff I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll be putting in my car. And um, yeah, so let me show you what I would like to bring. Um, and just let me know if there's anything that I'm showing you that, you know, there's really no reason to bring. So, <clears throat> okay, let me get to it. Okay, so extra water. I think that's an eight gallon tank. So I'm gonna, I can keep that in my car. Um, one thing I really wanted to bring, I think I'm definitely going to bring it is my metal detector and my fishing pole because I do like doing those things. And if I visit, um, some really nice places, I can go ahead and do those as like a hobby. So I think I'm definitely going to bring those, um, my tarp just in case, like I need, to lay it down or put it on the roof because maybe my fixing my leak didn't work. You know, you never know. <laughs> so, and then I have those, these sticks that I can use pokers for over the fire and stuff. Um, this thing right here, I don't know if I should bring it. Um, this actually is a refill kit for the one pounders. Um, let's see. This device actually hooks to a 20 pound tank and then you can refill the one pounders. So I don't know. It could help other people, but the only thing I'm going to be running on one pounders is my little buddy heater for just maybe 20 minutes, you know, at night to take the chill chill off. And then I'm going to use candles to keep the chill off during the night. Usually that'll work. So, I don't know. Should I bring that or should I not bring that? Um, my ladder, I really think I should bring. It's pretty light. Um, I need to clean my solar panels, so I think I definitely should bring that. <clears throat> um, this bag has a tripod grill that goes over a fire. I'm not sure if I'll ever use it, but it's kind of neat. Like if someone else wants to cook something over the fire, I can pitch in and let them use it. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, of course, a chair and a table. I definitely should bring those just to give me a little more outside space and I can cook outside and stuff. <clears throat> This thing I'm definitely going to bring, this is my electrical box. Everything electrical in there. I got the cutters, the um, wire, the connectors, um, fuses, all that type of stuff. So if anything happens, I at least have my electrical stuff. Uh, this box is really heavy. It's got bunch of tools like you know the the little tools um so this is what's in here and you know it's pretty heavy so i think i don't know do i need to bring this or not because if i don't bring that it's i guess it would be okay because I mean, I have all these bits in here, and then the screwdriver, and, you know, the ratchet right there. It all fits in this little container. 
And then I also have this container. It has a bunch of stuff like bolts, screws, little odds and ends, um, you know, uh, Velcro holders and stuff. It's got like a whole bunch of little things. I think I should definitely bring this and, and then my bits and stuff. But I don't think this is really necessary. Do you? Let me know. Uh, my little buddy heater, uh, definitely must. Uh, my spare tire, yes. Um, these straps, I guess I can put them in my little box. My little aluminum box on the outside, on the front of Frankie. I, I have some in there already, but I don't know why I would need them. <clears throat> and also this... Um, dang, compressor. Sorry, sometimes my brain is going so fast and it's hard for me to slow it down for it to come out of my mouth. But anyway, so this compressor, I don't know if I should bring it. I mean, for, as a safety thing, should I bring it? I mean, my inverter will run it if I ever need to put air in my tires or even help anybody else. Um, yeah, let me know. And this, I was thinking of bringing it and putting it in the free pile. The free pile at um, RTR. I never used it. It's one of the roof vents. It's the cheaper ones with the little fan. But, I mean, it's 12 volt and it works. So, there's nothing wrong with it. I think I'll bring that so I can donate it. <clears throat> I wanted to show you my lantern and my candles this is what i'm going to use to keep the chill off during the night i'm going to put three candles together inside there and then the heat's going to come out the top and just uh, keep the chill off at night so <clears throat> okay let's see i was thinking of bringing the compost toilet to donate it to somebody uh, that might like it but I'm not really sure. Um, let's see, what else? This bin I was looking through. Like, should I bring any of this? I have, like, drill bits. I have, like, a box full of, like, odds and ends. Like, um, hooks and latches and just different stuff. My Dremel stuff. Uh, clamps. This goes to my matrix drill. It's a Sawzall, and then I have more attachments, and then my wrenches, and I just don't know. I don't need to bring any of that, do I? <clears throat> Here's my drill. I think I'm definitely going to bring this. Um... I mean, it's light and compact, so. <clears throat> it's really cold in this garage, and it's messing with my throat. Should I bring my flex seal, just in case I need to, you know, my flashing tape? Should I bring any of that? You know, I have, like, a bunch of stuff here. Glue, flex seal, you know, brake cleaner. Do I need any of that? lubricant so that's kind of what I'm working with um, you know just I guess I don't need to bring all that <clears throat> so let me know what you think um, I also wanted to show you it's something I'm definitely gonna bring because I already showed it to you it's my potty um, I actually modified it and I want to show you what I did. I think I love it. So anyways, while you're thinking of what you're going to type me as far as advice, look at this. This is my potty system. It's very like compact and small. This is the bucket. 
the Lowe's bucket, or is it Home Depot, because it was orange. Anyway, so I bought this lid, it just twists off, but it, it seals, it's got a seal there, um, and then I put a bucket on the inside with a bag, and that also has a lid, and I just set it down there. But what I can do is, is I can put my composting material in there and I can do my business and then I can automatically seal it up. Actually, I heard you're not supposed to seal compost. So I could just seal it up and use it a few times and then bag up, you know, what I put in there. Um, and then, you know, disperse of it in a trash bin. Um, and then I got this water container and I cut off the top that had the little spout and then it also has this lid here, um, that has a seal on the inside and I painted it black I, and I left some part that I could see and right here I attached like a urinal so... I don't have to dump it every day, maybe every few days, and it's put all together with this strap, and then I could just take the strap off, and uh, and then I could just go dump it, you know. So yeah, so this is just a bucket. So yeah, I like that a lot. It definitely is more compact and light. It's definitely a lot lighter than that compost toilet. <laughs> so, but it's definitely not going to be a compost toilet because I think you need air circulation for compost not to smell or whatever. So I'll just use it a few times and then I'll bag that up and, you know, disperse it. So let me know what you think. So... Think of your advice on what not to bring and what must to bring. And then uh, let me know what you think about my my potty set up there. <laughs> That's, I've made so many potties on this channel. Like my compost and... Uh, actually, I think that's it. But anyway. So, thanks for being here with me. And I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm just a fun-loving person. I just like to show you how it is. So, live life to the fullest. This is Christopher Travels. I'll see you next time. Bye.